Hello and welcome to another A1 video. Ever heard about Diego Garcia? It says British Indian Ocean Territory Diego Garcia is one of the most strategically important naval bases for the US of A in the world. The sovereignty rights for this small island is with the British government. In November 1965, UK purchased the Chagos Archipelago, which also includes Diego Garcia, from the self-governing colony of Mauritius for £3 million for creating the British Indian Ocean Territory. Diego Garcia is the largest island on this archipelago and houses a fleet of US Navy with B-2 bomber, submarines and whatnot. With the center of gravity shifting from Euro-Atlantic to Asia-Pacific, it seems reasonable on the part of USA to establish its presence close to India and China to be a key player and ascertain its continued dominance. Disappearance of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 conspiracy theorists have also suggested that the flight MH370 was either captured or destroyed by the United States fearing a terrorist attack. Further claims that strengthen this theory are the claims from the residents of Kuta Huvudhu, one of the inhabited islands of Dalu or South Niland Atoll in the Maldives, who saw a jumbo jet with red stripes, similar to that of Malaysian Airlines, flying very low above their islands from north to southeast towards the tip of Maldives. So yes, there is a British-owned territory right down Southeast Asia which houses a US Navy fleet, and whether it turns out to be good for the emerging superpowers, India and China, or not, only the future will tell. Can we go to Diego Garcia? Not unless you are UK military personnel, United States military personnel or civilian employees of those countries. Diego Garcia is part of the British Indian Ocean Territory. The only inhabitants are US and British military personnel and associated contractors, who collectively number around 2,500, 2012 figures. The islands are off limits to Chagashans, casual tourists, and the media. Its head of state is Queen Elizabeth, as it is a British territory, but there is no governor appointed to represent the Queen on the territory, as there are no longer any native inhabitants. It is one of the best posts for military personnel of both the UK and US military. How did Diego Garcia become a military base? Diego Garcia was settled by the French in the 1790s and was transferred to British rule after the Napoleonic Wars. It was one of the dependencies of the British colony of Mauritius until it was detached for inclusion in the newly created British Indian Ocean Territory, by it, in 1965. Between 1968 and 1973, the population of the Bayat was removed to Mauritius and the Seychelles, following which the United States built a large naval and military base on Diego Garcia, which has been in continuous operation ever since. As of March 2015, Diego Garcia is the only inhabited island of the Bayat. The population is composed of military personnel and supporting contractors. The island's value is its strategic location between East Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia, making it a vital asset for supplying U.S. naval forces and projecting air power into Asia and the Middle East. During the Cold War Britain agreed to lease Diego Garcia to the American military for the construction of a naval base on the island. To make way for the base some 2,000 native Chagashans were forcibly removed from the island by the British government between 1968 and 1973. The islanders have since sued unsuccessfully for the right to return home. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe the video.